Hey guys, Tacoma Comics here, and if you're watching this video, this is part three of my Stephanie Hans covers video. This is the ones that I don't have. So, uh, yeah, if you've seen the other two, hopefully you uh, came here because you like those. If you haven't seen the other two, go ahead and watch those. Those are all the ones that I do have. I actually go through my collection. This is me going through pictures of stuff on the internet because I don't have them. Uh, I don't have this comic block variant, Aliens Defiance number one, uh, that you see on the left here. And I don't have this comic and games variant to Faith number one from Jody Hauser, uh, Marguerite Savage, and Francis Portella. I do have another Faith one, which somehow escaped my uh, video. I just realized I, didn't, I don't think I showed it when I did my other two videos, but I do have it somewhere. Just don't have this one. I don't have either of these spider ones here. This is um, Hastings variant to Spider-Man, Amazing Spider-Man number five. Um, and then a Marvel variant edition, um, a Fantastic Four variant to 667, Amazing Spider-Man. Um, I hate when they have covers that have nothing to do with the actual comic, but this is pretty cool. It's kind of like 60s throwback uh I know, I like this late 60s, early 70s throwback cover. It's pretty cool, a little playful. And, you know, I don't think that too much of what Hans does would, would fall in the category of playful. So it's kind of uh, interesting for her. On the left, you've got the 1 in 25 variant to Angela, Queen of Hell. Very classic Hans cover, the wavy hair, the play with the red and the dark, and then the stars in the background. On the right, we have Venom Venomize. I don't know if this is a 1 in 50 or... Or what? But it's a Venomized Journey into Mystery variant for 633. This is one of the the three ghosts. If you see this one, it is expensive, um, easily over hundred dollars to to get this one raw. On the left, you have the ghost of all ghosts, uh, a nine eight of this Fearless Defenders number four variant, just sold for four hundred and thirty dollars. I don't think I've even seen this one listed. It is gorgeous. I love it, but I, I haven't been able to find it. And on the right, you probably see the second most popular, the so-called smoking gun variant to Black Widow number two from like a uh, 2014, 15 or 16 series. I'm not exactly sure. Um, just another gorgeous, gorgeous cover. And again, a variant. This is probably like a one in 50. Um, and this one, usually you find it like in a 9.6 or 9.8 for about 200. So a little bit, it was the record until this Fearless Defender sold the other day. So if you ever come across that one, you get some money there. Uh, these Return of Wolverines, you can get the, the set for like $14. I just haven't gone out and done it yet. Um, I don't necessarily love them, don't necessarily hate them. Over here, the uh, Fear Itself Fearless Book Zero, I don't know I guess this is a, a collected trade um, but the image on the top and the bottom are ones that I haven't seen of hers before the image in the middle is one that that we have seen on a different cover that I've already shown uh, this dead island um, I guess is the deep silver variant for from Dark Horse comics I'm not sure never seen this one before either um, and no idea what that's about and then on the right this death of Wolverine uh, from Mile High Comics, uh, it says variant edition, but even the barcode doesn't actually have it listed as a, a variant. Um, hmm. Yeah, I, I don't know. But anyway, uh, this is in humans on the left. It's like a one in twenty-five. I just haven't. It's not that that um, rare. I could find it. I just haven't put the money down yet. This Claws of the Panther is a little bit of a pricier one. Again, nothing super crazy. I do not have that though. Um, one in 25, I think, on the left that doesn't sell for much. I've never been able to find this Shadowland Street Heroes one. I've got another one of the Shadowland ones, but um, it says Marvel Premiere Edition. Maybe that is a collected one, a collected trade paperback. Now that I'm looking at it, it does not look like a comic cover. Maybe that's the trade paperback cover. Maybe that's why I can't find it. I'm learning stuff, too, as I go through this. Uh, over here on the left, we have this Thor number six. I'm missing that one, Jane Foster Thor. Um, and then on the right, this Suicide Risk 23. I think I'm also missing 11, unless she didn't do um, the cover to 11. Uh, this Young Avengers on the left is a very popular one. Um, also a bit of a ghost. You can you can find it if you look for it, Young Avengers number two. Um, it's not like impossible to find, but it's a bit bit of a bit of a stretch. 
And there's this uh, variant to X-Men Battle of the Atom, which I don't see too often. Uh, two Wicked and Divine covers. Uh, considering how much of a Wicked and Divine fan I am, it's funny to me that I don't actually have either of these two. This variant to number three or this variant to the 1831 one-shot. And then finally, this is the B cover to um, Thor 700. There is... Um, she did the lenticular cover, and I hate the lenticular, and this is kind of like the image. This um, second printing is like the image without the <laughs> without the lenticular necessity. Uh, so, yeah, I think that's it. I haven't gone over any of her French comics. Um, I just don't have time to go looking for all the stuff she produced in a different country. And I know she's she self-produced a bunch of books. I don't have those. But I think between these three videos, unless somebody can prove me wrong, I have gone over every comic that Stephanie Hans has done the cover for. Now, she's done interiors on a whole bunch more, but I decided to set my, my uh, collecting goals just on the covers. If you have any of the ones in this video and you want to make a trade, or you want to sell <laughs> perhaps a little cheaply, uh, let me know and I'd be I'd be happy to, to talk to you then. Thanks a lot. This is Tacoma Comics and uh, have a good day.